You can grab this sand shovel right at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to start by painting mine with Wise Owl White Primer. I'm using a Gen Foam Brush, and I'm just covering the entire uh, shovel, and two coats is good. And then once I was done, I started with black. Black is just a great base color um, when you're going to be doing layers as it is going to completely block out any of this bright colors from this plastic shovel. And of course the primer is going to help me have good adhesion as it is plastic. Once I was done and allowed this to dry, I then went in with some deep turquoise from Wise Owl. And I'm just using a chip brush and I'm dry brushing it on so I'm not having um, full coverage. And I'm going up the stick, I'm just covering the entire thing in this turquoise. And allowing that to dry. Once dry, I went in with some Republic Red. And the red really gives you that feeling of, or, you know, as it peeks through, you, it almost looks like, you know, rust, I want to say. I'm trying to get a, an old vintage shovel look. And this is just going to take a few layers. Once that dried, I went in with our um, white. I did go back with the primer as I knew it was going to, uh, be a nice durable covering but you can use any white paint and again I'm doing the dry brush and allowing the other colors to peek through now this looks really good this way but for those that want to do a coastal look if you want to go back in with some of that turquoise and then a little bit more black. I just used a blow dryer to keep my, uh, to dry my layers in between. You could really get a beachy vibe with these uh, colors. And you could decorate your shovel with shells, netting, um, the sand dollar from the Dollar Tree or the, or the starfish from Dollar Tree. But I'm going to go and I grab this uh, hanger, this garland from Dollar Tree. It says plant one on me. And I cut out um, some of the images. And I found this spray. It looks like little roses from the Dollar General. And I'm going to start by using some wire to attach the roses and then I'm going to take a few pieces from this garland. I took this sign that says plant one on me, a flower, and the um, watering can, and I glued them together. And then I'm going to kind of flip them upside down. And I'm going to take wire and place it on each image from the back and place a popsicle stick along all of them. So now I can use the wire to attach my little sign to the top of my shovel. There are so many ways you could decorate the shovel. Um, you could use jute on the handle. There's just so many ideas. If any of you have tried this, post your pictures below. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com for any paint products, tissue paper, transfer, or mesh stencils chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much.